We are breaking news this morning in the Michael Jackson custody case. In an exclusive interview, the lawyer for his mother, Catherine, who's been taking care of Jackson's three children, says a custody agreement has been worked out. Our Dave Price got the story, and he joins us in L.A. with the details. Good morning, Dave. Uh, good morning to you, Maggie. In a wide-ranging interview, Londell McMillan had some very revealing things to say about the battle over Michael Jackson's estate and some major news about the fate of his children. It's an agreement, an agreement for the best interests of the children. This is not a money deal. This is not about money. Since Michael's death over a month ago, 79-year-old Katherine Jackson has raised his three children. Is the issue of custody and Debbie Rowe resolved? We will be making an announcement very shortly on that issue and all of the parties are resolved. There is no situation better for these children than for them to be raised and reared under loving care of Mrs. Katherine Jackson. There was concern about Joe Jackson, that Joe shouldn't be involved in raising the kids. I don't think it's valid uh, at all. I think Joe Jackson is the husband of Mrs. Jackson, but he's, he's not uh, living in Los Angeles. Omer Body, there have been so many rumors about him that he's Michael Jackson's child, and, and Joe Jackson seemed to say as much in an interview. I knew he had another son. Yes, I did. And he, uh, he looks like a Jackson. Oh, yes. He looks like a Jackson. He acts like a Jackson. He can dance like a Jackson. I'm not in the rumor business. I'm in the law business. I'm not going to even entertain those, those questions right now. Michael Jackson's will requests that Catherine raise his children, but not manage his money. For that, the will names two longtime Jackson business partners, John Brankup and John McLean. Catherine does get 40% of the estate, but she's fighting to be kept in the loop on all business matters. And the question is, what happened to this will in 2002? How come no one knew about it? How come Ms. Jackson didn't know about it? How come I didn't know about it? How come we learned about it the day we filed a petition in court stating that he died without a will? In a statement, lawyer Howard Weitzman said, Michael was very specific that his mother act as guardian of his children and that Mr. Branca and Mr. McLean be the executors of his will and trust. They accuse McMillan of trying to rewrite Michael's will. He's incorrect. Uh, Mrs. Jackson is not contesting the will. We are not trying to rewrite the will. Our concern is for anyone to have extraordinary powers, they need to have an extraordinary trust and integrity. The stakes are high in the battle over Michael Jackson's money. Despite a $331 million debt, his estimated net worth was $236 million. And that doesn't include the boom in music sales since his death. How much is that estate worth? And that estate is worth, in my estimation, a couple of billion dollars. You hear 500 million, don't buy it. Katherine Jackson applied for emergency funds. Is she broke? I don't know where, where the broke issue come, came from. Mr. Jackson was very generous and he provided for resources for his mother and his family and certainly his children. Now, of course, Londell McMillan has represented big acts before. Prince, Spike Lee, Stevie Wonder. Of course, he is estimating that the estate that Michael Jackson has could be worth $2 billion if it achieves its potential earnings, and that's if the estate is managed effectively. Clearly, Michael Jackson in death could be even more of an industry than he was during his lifetime. Now, during the next hour, we'll have more on Katherine Jackson and her grandkids and just how they're coping and living day to day. Harry? All right, Dave, thanks very much.